am going to show you how to make these crochet Christmas bulbs. I used an H hook, medium worsted sparkle yarn, and stuffing. I did place two beads on top, that's optional. The pattern is down below. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to do a slip knot onto the hook and do a chain count of 12. You can go with a larger hook and more chains. There's no right or wrong um, if you wanna make your bulb bigger. This bulb is about mm, four to five inches um, in length. Once you have your chain count, then we can go to the next step. And in the second chain from the hook, create a single crochet yarn over, pull through two loops, insert your hook, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, single crochet until you are at the end. You're going to make stripes of two different colors and it will be about 31 rows, so 16 of each color twice. So you're going to pull through with your color change on that last stitch and then single crochet in the back in the back loop and single crochet and from now on all stitches will be done in the back loop to create a ridge. You're going to do this for two rows of green Then you're going to turn and in the back loop you're going to create a single crochet and you should have 11 of these stitches. Keep track just in case so you don't um, have less stitches and then it won't be all the same size. Now you're going to take your opposing color which is red and you're going to bring it up and pull it through and then create a single crochet in the back loops of each stitch for two rows and that's um, how you'll do this pattern. Now I did 16 rows twice of each color. On the last row I did one and then I um, single crocheted the ends together which I'll show you at the very end. And you're just going to alternate between colors back and forth and so you're going to do another row of red of single crochet in the back loops. And you're going to bring up the green. So you'll never have to cut your yarn. You will just keep rotating back and forth between your two colors. It will bring up um, a little scrunch, but that's okay because you're going to close the ends and um, bring the ends together at the end anyway. So I'm going to do one more row of green, but I'm going to close the ends with a single crochet. So in the back loop and then pull it through to the red on the other end and create a single crochet. So each stitch will get a single crochet in the back loop of the green. and then just finish that for that side and then I'll show you how to close the ends. Once you're done, you're going to yarn over and pull through. Now you can take your yarn needle and weave in all of your ends. Now I'm going to take my needle and thread and weave in and out to close this end here and I'll do this exactly the same way for the top after I place the stuffing inside. So make sure your um, yarn is long enough to go back and forth and I'd say about at least 12 inches or so. 
so you have enough and then pull it through. It's going to close this by scrunching it together. Now you can flip it over and have that part of it show. It looks better that way. And then you'll place your stuffing inside. And weave in your ends just like you did on the other side back and forth. And this will singe it together. Now you can create a loop and put uh, beats through the loops and then your bulb is complete. Um, the beads are optional, you don't have to do those, just add a little touch, nice little touch to it. So this is what it looks like. You can make these in many different colors and you can make it bigger or smaller. Just add less chains to it. It looks really nice on the tree once it's finished. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.